Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript Coding Challenge. In today's video, we are going to explore more on the slice method that's available in the array prototype. We have an array, okay, which is having values from 1, 2, and 3 is omitted. We have 4, 5 is omitted, and 6. And what we are trying to do, we are trying to print uh, the array dot slice. In the slice, we are providing undefined and 6, okay. We have to print this particular output of the slice method. So please try from your end and see what is the output you are getting. So let's try from our end and see what is the output we are getting. Okay. So we have this particular script available in the test.js file and this script I am calling from the index.html as you can see here. Okay. And let me run this and make sure that everything is running up. Okay. Fine. And I am running this particular thing and I am just opening the console. Okay. So before I open the console, okay, so let me comment this out, uh, okay, we will first go through the uh, question and then we will print this and let me refresh this uh, and open the console, okay, so now everything is ready. So I have this particular array, okay, it is having values from 1 to 6 but 3 and 5 is omitted but it is having an empty uh, value in that particular item, right. So if I print uh, console.log of array, okay, console.log of array dot length okay what it will print it will print 6 even though it is emitted but it is occupying a space in the array so it will be printing array dot length as 6 okay and now before we dive into slice method first we will see what is an array okay what is an array and then we will go through slice and what is the syntax for slice so array enables us to store a collection of multiple items under a single variable name okay we can access it's a collection of multiple items right it's an object basically it is an object and it stores a collection of multiple items and what does this slice method do it returns a shallow copy of a portion of an array into a new object new array object it creates a copy of the portion of the array into a new array object what does this portion of the array means because we can actually select the starting and ending point that we have to get in the new array object okay so it provides it provides an option for selecting uh, the starting index and the providing the ending index but the end index does not get included in the newly created array and the original array will not be modified okay it is doing a shallow copy and hence the original array will not be modified it creates a new array object in that it will be having a portion of the array from the starting index to the ending index where end is not included okay and what is the syntax slice of start and end and start and end both these arguments are optional arguments when it is not mandatory if it didn't provide it starts from the uh, zero syntax okay if start is not provided end is uh, omitted so if end is omitted then what will happen if end is not there okay in this case what will happen it will be considering from the starting to the uh, array length okay start to array length array length okay so this is the way it works and if start is also not uh, given then it starts from uh, zero index to array dot length okay but array dot length will not be included because end is not included in the slice okay so that is regarding uh, uh, slice okay so i hope you got an idea about slice okay so this is the syntax both the arguments are uh, optional but in our case what we did we are actually doing a slice operation okay slice uh, method is being applied to the array and the start we are actually mentioning is undefined and the and the ending point we are actually mentioning the array dot length that is 6 okay array dot length is 6 so now the, what will happen so 6 uh, means uh, 6 uh, 6 will not be included 6 means the length 6 will not be that that particular thing will not be included in the end okay so now we will what we will do let array 1 array 1 equal to uh, in that we will just apply the slice okay so here we are not providing the starting and ending index okay starting and ending index we are not providing and then we will print array dot array 1 so in this case what will happen this is just for our reference like if we didn't provide then what is happening it's getting from the starting it will be considered as 0 itself so it is uh, printing the 0 index till the array dot length array dot length is 6 so it prints the whole array so it prints 1 2 and in the 3 as it is omitted it is taking an empty space 4 and then empty space and then 6 so it prints the whole array if it is an uh, 
start and end is not provided. So what will happen if I provide uh, start as undefined and uh, so start as undefined. So that's what our question is, right? So start as undefined and then six, okay? In this case, what will happen? So this is our question, okay? So in this case, what will happen? If the start is provided as undefined, in that case, in that case as well, slice will actually starts the uh, starts the index as uh, zero. Okay, so even if the uh, starting is in undefined, okay, if start is undefined, then in that case as well, it will be considering uh, the starting index as zero. Okay, so that is what you have to understand. So in our question, what we did. It is an undefined value, but still it is considering as zero because for undefined or whether the start is omitted, in those cases actually the starting index will be zero. And ending index, so six we have provided, okay, six we have provided and uh, that is the length, so six is not included and here you can see, right, zero, this is starting from zero index. So it starts from zeroth index, zero, one, two, three, four and five. So six will not be uh, included, but from zero to five it will get printed. That is why from array dot one you are having the same value like one two six, because array, the slice operator it starts with uh, the zero index. The whether it is start or end, it starts with the uh, zero index. So we are having like array one it prints. So in this case, what will happen if I remove all this? And this is what our question was. So in this case, what will happen? it will be printing. So we have already seen this. So it will be printing the whole array, okay, as it is. So now what you can see, there are other scenarios, okay, L there are other scenarios like uh, if the start is provided like other than zero, if it is provided like two or two or three, okay. If I provide three, in this case, what will happen? The starting index will be three. So you can see zero, one, two and three. So it starts with four and it will go up to six four empty and then six okay so like that it uh, works so you can see here four empty and then six so if the starting index it's uh, based on the starting index okay it will work then what will happen if the starting index is more than the array dot length if it is like nine then what will happen then it will be returning an okay so we can see that it returns an empty array so whenever the starting index is greater than the array dot length then it returns an empty array okay but this doesn't matter okay this doesn't matter if you even if you give uh, like 10 so it will actually calculate till the uh, array dot uh, end it will go through array dot end and then it will matter so end does not matter so if you give that then you can see that it gets printed all the uh, items in the array it will go till the end of that array okay so even if uh, uh, end is greater than the array dot length it doesn't matter but if the start is greater than the array dot length in that case it returns an empty array so these are the various uh, use cases of slice okay you can explore more on that but this is a very uh, useful uh, method that's available in the array dot prototype so there are many other uh, useful features of slice okay you can explore more on that so just a recap slice method returns a shallow copy of a portion of an array because we are mentioning the starting to ending index and it creates a new array object and the original array will not be modified that is why we are calling it as a shallow copy okay and that's it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching.